Hey, I have a Canon Pro 4000 and a 6100, and I have been getting an error code on my 4000. Got the service manual, looked it up. It says replace the purge unit. And I've looked around, seen another, a fair amount of other people have had to do this. I'm a pretty uh, crafty guy, got the part, let's do it. All right, so having the purge unit and this section of the service manual, the only thing I'm a little confused by is the majority of this section is after you get to the purge unit. And I'm not really familiar with working with service manuals, so I'm not sure if basically once I get to the purge unit step, I can just put the new one in and put it back together. I'm assuming that's what I can do. So that's what I'm gonna do. I put a posting on Reddit asking if this is the case. I haven't got a response. Um, so I'm gonna take this end off and I'm gonna see how crazy this looks. And if I feel like this is a bad idea, then I'm gonna stop. I mean, it's like a $4,000 printer, so, you know, I don't wanna screw it up, but this really does not that look that hard. Um, it's just a few screws and sticking the new part in. All right, so. Mm. So I just got the unit out pretty easily. Um, I'm just gonna put the new one in. So it's the next morning. Um, I stuck the new purge unit in and I realized, well, I noticed that there was, a, this cable was missing. Um, so I went ahead in the instructions. I kind of screwed up because I didn't film this. Uh, I discovered that there's one small piece that you have to take off of your old purge unit and you have to mount it to your new one um, it is called the head management sensor unit unit and it has this wire and this hole attached to it it's really easy it's two screws um, you pull this you disconnect the connector you pull this wire on the old one out of all these clips install it on your new one and you're good to go because that happened, I thought that I needed to keep going through the list of steps in the manual. So I did, and I started realizing that like what I was doing had nothing to do with the purge unit. So I stopped and I went back. So the new purge unit is in. Um, the only other thing that kind of seemed iffy and why I stopped last night is I'm going to take the camera. These two little gears right there seem like they should touch each other, but they don't. And um, I am not really sure why. I'm guessing something moves and causes them to connect during the operation of the printer, but I got nervous and I messaged somebody online and didn't hear back. So <clears throat> I'm just gonna put this thing back together and uh fire it up i'm hoping to use this printer today so i don't really want to wait i don't i really don't see how um uh, i mean that that's attached to the carriage the carriage can't move i mean i guess it yeah it can't really move any more towards it this is reattached just like it was so i don't understand what could possibly cause those to connect so I'm just gonna go for it. All right, it's back together. I'm gonna make some coffee and then fire it up. All right, so I got it in service mode. The orange light is still flashing while the home screen is on. There's three steps in the service manual of things that I need to adjust, so I'm gonna go in and adjust, try to adjust that now. Well, okay then, um, it's done. That was not that bad. If there was just a little bit more clarity about like if replacing purge unit stop here 
that would have been super helpful, but I still haven't tried printing anything. So I just powered it down. I'm gonna power it back up in regular mode and I'm gonna to try to run a print. All right, success. I ran a print. I did not get the same error that I was getting. It didn't always give me the error, so fingers crossed. Uh, I'll report back if the error comes back. I know some people have replaced the purge unit and not had the error go away. But I'm stoked. Sorry I didn't do a better job videoing. I was really stressed out doing this and I was stupid and did it at the end of a Friday. So um, yeah, my brain wasn't all there. Please, if you have any questions about the process, feel free to comment below, um, go to my website, shoot me an email. I'm happy to, to assist anybody however I can. So it's really not that hard. Just make sure you get the uh, service, service manual and I'll also put a link to the new part in the uh, comments below. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. See you next time.